This video goes over the differences between using a Chrono Zen script and using a game pack. I'm going to show you guys and take you through Zen Studios and just give you a little bit more of an awareness and an education about what you're getting into with this. So I want to review both and give you an idea of which one so that you guys can figure out which one is best for you. My personal opinion up front is that game packs are easier to use to get into, but scripts are the thing that you use when you're getting a little bit more into it and you feel a little more confident and comfortable with it. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. First thing we're going to do is open up Zen Studios. You should have everything downloaded at this point within, you know, the actual download. I have videos for that and the firmware and everything should be updated. So you open up the icon, as you saw right there, and then you use the right sided cable to plug in. And that brings you within Zen Studios to this. Now, Zen Studios, you guys brand new to this will have to get a little bit more acclimated to the feel of everything. What you're looking at right here, the library, the different tabs up top, let's review that real quick. So file, edit, compiler, tools, plugins. If you needed to update anything, you can find it right here. So the tools, for example, um, firmware update, something like that, you can click that and that'll get you, you know, the updates that you would need. We're not messing with that today, but this is all stuff that I think you guys should start to get accustomed to, especially if you're brand new to all this, so that you can figure out what it is that you're doing. All right. From here, library, let's go to programmer. All of these right here are game packs. Seven Ways to Die, Apex. Game pack is essentially pre-made macros. And the ones that I have here are specifically for FPS. So you could see Modern Warfare 3, Total Recoil, Doom Eternal. That's my favorite one right there. If you scroll through, you've got Basketball Perfect Shot, Baseball. All these different things right here are designed to help you input different values. And those values are what you're going to be using to help your controller do things that you may not normally be able to do yourself. Let's take a look at... You can look at Destiny, Deathloop. I think we should look at Doom Eternal. So for game packs, what you do is you take this and you drag it down. From there, you're going to get this pop-up. And this is what you're going to be spending a lot of your time with. This pop-up right here allows you to pick and choose different settings. And it's right there in front of you. You don't have to know code. You don't have to input anything crazy. You don't have to type anything up. You don't have to ask chat GPT to create codes or anything like that. It's all right here. Now, within all of this, you have different explanations. If you hover over it, you'll see it pops up as anti-recoil helps to control the kick and recoil of your gun. Those little things let you know what this underneath it is designed to do. Now, if you are using a controller and you have the inverted control, the look, the vertical, in, in, <laughs> sorry, vertical inversion like I have, then you would need inverted Y anti-recoil before doing any of this value here. Otherwise... If you just enable it, that's assuming that you are doing the regular controller versus the invert. All right, over here, vertical recoil. I always suggest starting off at 50. That's a very safe bet for how most guns in all of these games operate. If you find that you're pulling too far down to the floor, then you would reduce this by 10 points. Or you could go by 5. It's up to you what you prefer. So this is vertical recoil, meaning, you know, the gun shooting up and kicking upward. This is going to tell your controller to pull back down. Horizontal right here. And the reason I wanted to show you guys this, this is all very easy. You don't have to do any coding or anything like that. With scripts, there's codes that are involved and it can get pretty complicated, which is one of the reasons I hired a guy to help. He now works with us. He was one of the original OG creators of scripts within Chronos Zen, now he's in my Discord. You can only find this guy in my Discord. So if you want help from him, join up in Discord and we'll see what we can do. Anyway, this is just one example. And as you can see, there are hundreds of game packs. Okay, maybe not hundreds. There are dozens of game packs. <laughs> I'm being dramatic here. Look at that. X Defiant is finally in there. So let's check out that one real quick. There you go. So if you guys wanted to do this, this is, again, it's going to take a little bit of time. It's going to take a lot of trial and error. So your stick loadout, your button loadout, loadout um, the response curve, standard, linear, and reverse, that's pretty specific. That's also an in-game thing. 
So I tend to use standard response curve. We have guys that prefer linear. You'd have to match this up within Zen Studios to whatever it is on your controller in the game so that these two can match up. And vertical axis, again, I invert my vertical axis when I play. So that's one that you'd need to make sure that you invert right there so it matches. All these different mods and everything you can play with. Hair triggers is really cool for left trigger, right trigger, or both triggers. So that way, as soon as you pull the trigger even a little bit, 5 to 10%, it registers the full thing. It could make you just a little bit faster. I mean, millisecond-wise, but it does matter if you're playing competitively than your opponent who may not have that option. Anyway, pretty cool stuff. So those are the game packs, and there's a bunch of them in here. You can put these as favorites with the star, and it'll come up over here into this favorite section. These are my favorites right now. I'm going to put that one right there, and then it pops up over here. All the newest stuff that has recently come out will also be right here, and you can drag it down so that you can mess around with it and play with it. In the game, it's going to be a lot of back and forth if you're new to this, if you don't know what you're looking for. This is why I prefer Doom Eternal. It's a simple script or a simple macro. Mod on demand is what, you know, it's a simple mod. And mod stands for macros on demand, by the way. So this is really simple. And you could just play with it and see what it does in the game. For example, this one. Active fire mod. Adjust adjustable rapid fire up to 10. It basically gives a three round burst weapon fully automatic. It doesn't change the rate of fire. But what it does do is you can hold down the trigger and then your gun can fire as if you were pulling the trigger down each and every time. But you're just holding the trigger down. And then you can set the value of how fast you want it to respond. What this does is tell your controller how many times you're pressing the button, even though you're just holding it down. It sends the signal that you're pressing the button 10 times every second. Now, controllers and mouse and keyboards all have that same type of thing. I know there's an option for that. This is the option that you have for the controller. Anyway. That is the long and the short of game packs, and I hope that gave you a bit of clarity. The whole thing that I wanted to show you is that these are things that you're going to have to adjust on your own and set up and play around with, but the basic ones, you've got your aim assist, you've got your anti-recoil, and the whole goal of it is to help you understand what you're getting into and that you're going to have to understand the scripts and the, uh, the, the game packs themselves a little bit because some of them are pretty confusing. Now, going back to the library, let's talk about scripts real quick. File. You can save as, you can add. Um, what I do with scripts is I add them in from my guy, and I've got his script from Discord. What I'd want you guys to do from here, check out your tool section, go to File. Not that one, well that's a good one. Recent files, you can do that. You can also hit Open. This is everything that I have saved onto my desktop. This is the Destiny 2 script. Take that, open it, and that brings me from library to compiler. This is a script that we just uploaded. So from here, as you can see, I can exit out of this. I'll show you again real quick. So now there's nothing here. Let's go back to library. Open. Destiny 2. This is a public script that our my guy created, basically. And here we are. Now you can see it's all right here. The green lettering is instruction. All of this is in your Zen as well. And I'm going to show you a little video of that, that you can control all of this with your controller on the Zen while it's hooked up so you can adjust values in game. This is a lot more complicated, which is why I hired someone to help, because this can be a little wild. If you guys wanted to figure this out on your own, you can do that. If you prefer to just, you know, pay us and get our scripts, then you can do that too. It's really up to you. But all this green that you're looking at, that's all instructions. Now, text to display, right? This is code, constant string off equals off. I know that looks a little bit funny, and my guys out there that know what code is, you probably understand what you're looking at here. I really don't. It sounds really obvious, but I don't really get it. Messing around with this a little bit, you can, you know, figure some things out, what you would like to change. For example, off rumble, on rumble. Um, sticky, the different type of aims that are right here, for example, sticky aim, circular. Personally, uh, legit is one of my favorites, and OG is one of my favorites, the original one. That's the one that you would get from like Doom Eternal. That's my favorite one, that one and legit. These two are great. Um, circular works really well for certain games like Call of Duty, works really well for X Defiant. And then, yeah, that's the script. And you can see how much is in there. I mean, just scrolling up and down, this 
This thing is wild. He really put a lot of work into this. So let's say you want to put the script here, all right? This is Zen Studio. This is specific for game packs. Just underneath that, you have scripts. And now I have it up here. So let's um, let's review that again. Let's get that out of there. No scripts are right here. It'd be the same exact thing that you did. Library, here, open file, destiny, putting it in there. Programmer, now it's right there. This is where you would basically find everything within your desktop. This is where you find things within Zen Studios. And here is where you find your scripts. You would just drag that down. And now that is on your Zen. Hit the save button. And then from there, boom, everything is saved and you're good to go. So the goal of this video really was to just give you guys kind of like an example between game pack and script. And as you can tell, scripts are a lot more complicated, a lot more complicated than a game pack. So this whole thing here is a script and it's a very good one. And then you've got your game pack right here from Doom Eternal. Not as complicated, but it gives you the basic stuff that you would need. Anti-recoil, aim assist. And then within each of these boxes, you have a description of what it does. I find that to be very useful, but you're gonna have to spend some time learning what these are. What I've started doing for certain people in, in Discord is I'll export the config and then they can just download that. So Doom Eternal, put that on my desktop, for example. And then after that, yeah, I will just send them that. And then they can input that into their Zen so that they have exactly what I have. Um, mine are not perfect, but they're as close to as good as I can make them. All the testing that I do, everything changes within video games all the time. So I, I do my best. You're going to have to learn how to do this yourself eventually. So this video is to help you understand the differences between the two. And I hope it was useful. Uh, I do plan on going over M and K eventually, but I don't personally understand this myself, to be completely honest with you guys. Uh, just playing around with this, and I'm not an M and K user, by the way. So, like, wh what did I just do? I don't, I don't understand what any of that means. <laughs> so, maybe one of you guys can help me out with that. All right. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you got any questions or anything, leave them in the comment section down below. I love all you guys. Remember, keep it zen out there. I'll see you in the next one.